welcome back to Layton's Uh Today I'm just uh, in the garden that I made last year, the one that I had all of the cucumber beetles down here last year that devastated what I had planted. So yeah, I let it grow up a bit this year and uh, the weeds kind of overtook the garden. So what I've been doing now is digging the garden back up, pulling the weeds and the roots out, brushing all the dirt off the weeds and off the roots and uh, feeding the roots and the, the weeds to the pigs. So I've been at this now for about, oh, I guess about five hours. It's a hot day today, lots of sun. So yeah, I'm going to be planting uh, some basil in here today, uh, tomatoes, uh, some right red peppers. I want to get these things in and I'm also going to be planting some seeds. I'm going to plant some pumpkin seeds, uh, some spaghetti squash seeds. I'm just going to get the garden all planted up today and that way it's done and then I'm just going to water it all, fertilize it, nitrogen tea. I'll show you guys how I actually do this. This is uh, how I weed this garden because the weeds overtook it so bad that I had to use the hole to uh, dig them all up, get the roots out of the ground. So it takes a little bit of time to do this but I find if I do it this way then I don't have much weeding to do in the growing season. It usually takes care of them all. And the only reason I have so many weeds is, like I said, this is a brand new garden from last year. This stuff all goes to the piggies. See, like these are weed roots. This is why I pull the roots out. If you just pull the, the top of the weed off, a week later, <laughs> the weed's back again. I don't want that. I want them gone. My piggy's been enjoying the, the roots today. It's because when I made this garden, I just rototilled the existing ground that was here. I had it a full trailer load, a big trailer load of uh, compost in here last year. But because I only rototilled the existing ground, all the seeds that were in there, and I think that's why they all came up this year. That's why the garden was just pure weeds. Yeah, it's still pretty hot. It's about uh, 3.30 in the afternoon here. I've been down here, like I said, five or six hours now. But I think I finally got it all weeded. Now it's time to start planting. So what I'm planting on this end row here is I'm actually going to be planting uh, some tomatoes. I got uh, two tomatoes in here. So I'm actually going to take them apart, and this, that one right here, I'm not sure what, how that got in there, but that's a pepper plant. So I'll keep it there, it'll go back over with all the peppers. I'll take these two tomato plants apart very carefully, so you don't disturb the soil too much, or the roots I should say. So because the ground is so dry, I'm going to actually uh, fill the holes with water before I put the plants in and let the water kind of seep down so that I have a, a base of water in there for the plants. So pull those two bottom leaves off. These are the leaves. I'm going to show you up close. These, you see these leaves at the bottom of my seedlings? Well, those are the ones that are produced by the seed itself. That's the first leaves that come out. So you kind of want to get rid of them when you're planting your seedlings. They don't need to be on there anymore. And tomato plants, you always want to plant them uh, deep enough so that it's just the top crown. Usually two or three leaves that are at the top. There's usually two that shoots out one way and two that shoots out the other way and then you have your center. Well, the, that's where you want to plant your tomato plants is at that depth. Because you want your tomato plant to have a really good root base. There, this is a small seedling. You can see this one's a little bit early to plant, but I'm planting them all today anyway. You can see these two seed, these two leaves, like I said, are the ones that are produced by the seed itself. These two are the ones where they're getting the, the nutrients from the ground. I'm burying that right up to those two leaves. So I got two plants, then I put in a plant of basil. Normally I wouldn't spray the water in the hole with the plants, but because this ground is so dry, I don't really have much of a choice in the matter. I'm not putting much in here, just a little. If they need more down the road, I can always add more after. 
Now, same thing again. Always pluck those two first leaves off. You don't need them on there anymore. Unbelievable how hot this ground is today. Even down six inches, the ground is still hot. Now, the first couple of weeks, I will only water directly around my plants because I don't want to water the whole uh, uh, garden because what will happen is if there's any root or weed seeds in there, it'll actually help them sprout up. So the first couple of weeks, I only uh, water about six inches around the plant and that's it. That's all I'll do. And then once the plant gets up a bit bigger, then I'll actually, uh, actually start watering out around maybe a foot. And then after that, I will... Uh, spray the whole thing because then the root systems of these plants will actually start to shoot out more. So yeah, I don't have much rain coming this week, so uh, I'm going to have to water these every day this week, I think, to make sure it stays nice and uh, moist around the plants. So yeah, uh, that's this is just one bed. Now I've got uh, one, two, three, four, this big one here, big one along there, big one along there. So that's seven beds of... Uh, Seedlings I got. Well, it's not all seedlings. Uh, I think I'm going to be doing uh, this one, this one, and this one, and the one along there with seedlings, and then the rest is all going to be seeds. All right, so I'm going to plant all my seedlings pretty much the same way. I'll take you guys along once I start doing my seeds, and I'll show you how I do those. So now I'm just uh, I'm starting to do uh, the seeds now. I've got all the seedlings all planted, so now I'm just planting seeds. Uh, these are... Uh, Spaghetti squash seeds, I'm going to be putting them in. Now when you plant seeds, these you plant them all pretty much the same way. You can see on this end it has a point. Always plant the point down so that when they grow up, the roots shoot out this way and the leaves start to come up this way and it gives them an opportunity to open. And then, Because then it's not so hard for the plant to actually push a seed. It's a lot harder, I should say. For the plant to push a root out and then go down and then try to turn that and push it up that way so if you just help it out by pushing it straight down in the ground that way it uh it can root and push up a lot easier so what i'm actually doing down here now is i'm just going to use my garden hose to make some holes Soil in. Now these guys I'm only putting in the ground about oh an inch under the ground and that's about it. Now seeds are a lot quicker and a lot easier to plant. And you pretty much plant all your seeds pretty much the same way. So now last year in this garden I had a, a lot of problems with uh, cucumber beetles squash beetles or and those things they really uh, uh, gave me a lot of problems now I'm only going to plant a few of these I planted uh, one two three four spaghetti squash uh, uh, seeds that's all I'm doing now I'm looking to see if I have these are the pumpkins I'm going to be putting out here those are jack-o-lanterns I don't have any seeds from pumpkins because my pumpkins always tend to give me a little bit of a rough time so now the other one I'm planting out here this year is going to be turnips. So I'm going to plant my uh, pumpkins along the big back one. Actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys along so that you can actually see what I'm actually doing. <laughs> so yeah, this is uh, going to be where I'm planting my pumpkins. The reason I'm planting my jack-o'-lanterns here is because uh, I have a, a big trellis up here and I'm hoping uh, that uh, I can get the pumpkins to actually uh, go up this trellis and uh, maybe hang up there. Because I don't really have a lot of room to grow uh, pumpkins. And I know they take up a lot of space. So I'm trying to... Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do the exact same thing as that I did with the, uh, the squash seeds. See, pumpkin seeds look almost identical to a squash seed. Most of them always do. You always put the pointy end down, the round end up. Now pumpkins are heavy feeders, 
So what I'll do is once they break the surface and they've used the energy from the seed itself, I will bring down my uh, nitrogen tea and uh, give them a, a lot of nitrogen, give them a really good heavy boost of nitrogen to get them uh, producing more leaves quicker. So yeah, that way they'll grow faster and uh, get more pumpkins out of them. Now, see, I'm, I'm looking at these seeds. I have two seeds here. Let me see if I can show you guys in the camera. It's pretty small and hard to see. This seed is an actual good seed. It's a little thicker and it's harder. It, it feels like it's solid in the middle. This seed is from the same package and it's really thin. It feels hollow and empty. There's nothing in there. There is no seed in that. It's just an empty shuck with nothing in it. So when you're going through your seeds and you're planting uh, uh, squash, you really do need to check your seeds and make sure that they feel a little thicker, uh, solid, not spongy. And uh, usually that will give you a good sign that the, they're good. Now, the next one I'm doing is turnips, and I'm going to do them along that back edge. These you plant totally different. I'll show you the seeds on those as well. Now, turnip is a little different. Uh, they're a round seed. They're a heavy feeder as well. You can see just how dry the soil is. Now, what I'm doing with my turnip... The seeds are really small with turnip. Like yeah, that's turnip seeds. Little tiny round balls. <laughs> so all I'm doing is I'm just going to run a small trench down here. I'm going to run two down this one. Try not to put them too many too close together. But sometimes it's hard to space these guys out. Which is okay because they will still grow. They'll just push each other to the side. But I like not to have them too close together. So now how I'm going to backfill these, or backfill, but uh, uh, cover them with soil, is I just use water. I don't bother pushing any soil in on the top of them. Just got to make sure I'm on the right setting. And I just kind of water them in. Because these sit more on the surface. Well, they're buried a little. Because the water itself kind of buries them. This garden is planted. So now all we got to do is wait for the seeds to come up. And the fruit to come out on all of the other ones. And uh, off to the rodeo we are. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, maybe leave a comment. Uh, smash that like button. Hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and maybe consider subscribing. And uh, thanks for watching.